Shiju, we can start. Very Yes, ma'am. One, one minute. Let's just talk. We've got a hundred thousand to check. Can't do that, but yeah. <laughs> Shiju, we can start. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We can start. Yes, ma'am. Yes. <clears throat> Doha Modern Indian School has been always inspired by the vision of its founder, Mr. Muhammad Talib Al Khori that every child come to this temple of learning must be the person filled with knowledge, fear of God, respect to the elders, respecting the rules and regulations of this educational portal, love and reverence to parents and love for the nation. Therefore, nurturing them and fostering in them a sense of self-respect, self-discipline, the capacity to enjoy life as an independent, self-motivated adults and the willingness to care for others are extremely pertinent. Doha Modern Indian School aims to fulfill its vision that our school assures the right opportunity to study and learn together creatively. Undoubtedly, DMIS is the best preparation ground for the global society which awaits them. Honorable guests of the day, heads of the institution, teachers, and my dear students, wishing you all a very pleasant day. Investiture ceremony is one of the most important events of any school. It is here that we entrust faith and hope in our newly appointed school council. DMIS has elected its leaders in a highly rational and transparent means to choose our today's leaders and tomorrow's torchbearers. And here I would like to extend on behalf of the whole student community and the Amaya's fraternity, our heartfelt congratulations to all the elected members of the student council election 2021-22. And it is my proud privilege to welcome you all to witness yet another golden episode of DMI's history, the 17th Student Council Investiture Ceremony 2021-22. So let us begin this ceremony by invoking God's blessings. May I request Alina Fatima to recite a few verses from the Holy Quran. <laughs> أعوذ بالله من الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب على عبده الكتاب ولم Thank 
you, Alina. This institution is lucky to have a young and dynamic principal who certainly has the metal to take his miles ahead along the road of success. And let me take the privilege of inviting Ms. Padmini Venkatesh, our dear principal, to address the occasion. A warm, very uh, an inspiring day to all. Honorable Director of Talib Schools, Mr. Jay Shankar Pillai, the Educational Consultant of TG Schools, Mr. David Kropp, Academic Auditor TG Schools, Mr. Sabu Thomas, esteemed principals of Sister Concerns, important dignitaries, our DMIS fraternity, management people, dear staff, and my most affectionate budding leaders. Hearty welcome you all for the investiture ceremony 2122. How rightly it is said, before you are a leader, success is all about growing yourself. When you become a leader, success is all about growing others. Each one of you are a leader in your own capacities and capabilities. Each one of you have values, virtues, and dreams of your own. If you are capable of fulfilling these values, virtues, and dreams during your tenure, that is a true achievement you will carry further. Those experiences mm -hmm. and learning will be an asset for every and irreversible tool. So as I share my happiness and good wishes with each of you, I also want to stress upon the significance of setting the priorities need to be great communicators and should be smart leaders. I urge each of you to be take up your responsibilities with commitment and integrity. I take this opportunity to congratulate all the parents and well-wishers for their great support and encouragement given to these budding stars of tomorrow. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our 2021 student council members led by Vaishak for their commitment, dedication, and initiativeness. Dear student leaders, remember, true leaders are not born, but made out of their experiences and expositions. Great day to all. Stay blessed, stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your kind and thoughtful words. Every moment is a golden one for whom, who has the vision to recognize it. He leads every child into the path of success with his plans for the future generation. Here we have one such dynamic personality in the person, Mr. Jay Shankar Pillai, Director, Taleb Group of Schools. We are excited and privileged to have the wonderful presence of Mr. Jay Shankar Pillai amidst us. May I request our esteemed director to inspire the budding leaders of DMIS. Hello. Sir, we can hear you. Yeah, good. Good evening, all. Good evening, sir. Let me welcome both Kevin and Hanchika to take up the reins in during this COVID times. It is a challenging post at this stage. A lot of online operations. Lots of interpersonal operations which should otherwise happen will happen through online. But you are going to open up a new horizon in this area of activity so that probably you two are the new pathfinders for 
future. Reason, uh, the school has never been handled by a head boy and head girl online, but you have wonder, you can do wonders in this scenario, work out and share possible options and opportunities with your senior team in the school, with us, so that we can explore avenues by which we can enrich and enhance the, the student needs, serve it properly, and good interaction and interpersonal relation happening online. Wish you all the best for this role and also for your success in career. Take care and all the best. We are always there at your service for your help. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for inspiring and motivating our budding leaders. And now we are moving on to the event of the day, the initiation of Student Council Investiture Ceremony 2021-22, inducting the leaders into their offices with the sashes and badges. Honorable dignitaries, dear student leaders, parents, and teachers, the Student Council of Doha Modern Indian School consists of student representatives selected from grade four to 11. They have been identified by a panel of experts comprising the heads, ear heads, teachers led by the principal. These leaders have been selected for their leadership skills, public speaking talents, academic performance, discipline, and active participation in co-curricular activities over the past years. They will be assigned duties to develop true leadership skills and support the staff and students of the school. They will showcase their qualities of honesty, courage, patience, presence of mind, and truthfulness in compliance with the mission and vision of the school in all possible avenues. Now I invite the academic coordinator, Ms. Elizabeth Dominic, to declare the names of the newly appointed office bearers. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Good day, everyone. Leadership is not about a title or post. It is about the impact, inspiration, and innovation. Our head boy for this academic year is Kevin George, who is an embodiment of all these virtues. Kevin started his schooling in Dia Myers from KG and is now in grade 11. He has been privileged to represent the school in both scholastic and extracurricular activities quite a number of times victoriously. He also served Dia Myers as the assistant head boy in 2019 and has won several scholastic excellence awards at middle school and high school levels. Being a voracious speaker, He's a strong delegate of the DMIS MUN team. He has shown exceptional delight and diligence in associating himself with all inter-house competitions and activities conducted in the school. Apart from these, Kevin is a well-known member of Toastmasters International Gavels Club and has secured first place for international speech and evaluation competition. To add to his achievements, he is also the current president of the EF Gables Club and winner of the GCC Global Youth Debate held in 2020. Dear Myers wishes him all success and believes that he will keep up the long lasting legacy of excellence. Congratulations, Kevin. Next, we have our head girl, Hanshika Anand Kumar. The quality of a leader is reflected in the standards they set for themselves. Hanshika, synonym to optimism and agility, is a newly elected head girl of DMIS. In addition to maintaining a very brilliant academic record, Hanshika is also a genius in science. She is one among the top five contestants in the Shastra Pratibha Contest Level 2, 2021, conducted by Science Forum of India for all schools in Qatar. Hanshika has proven her metal as a debater, singer, and above all, a student ready to take up any challenge in the right spirit. For Hanshika, opportunities are her best friends. 
to be accepted and cherished throughout one's life. All the best to Hanshika. Next, we have our assistant head boy, Kenneth Almeida. Leadership is a challenge to be something or to be someone above all averages and mediocrities. Kenneth Almeida from grade nine is a leader with true spirit of comradeship and commitment. And he is the right candidate for the post of assistant head boy of DMIS. Kenneth is popular among student community as a highly approachable personality and also as a friend who has solutions for their problems. He is also skillful in public speaking. We appreciate and congratulate him for all the commendable work he has rendered and we wish him the best to take up the new position. Next, we have our assistant head girl, Evangeline Alexander. To become an efficient leader, you must be self-motivated and that is Evangeline. Evangeline is a highly motivated student and is extremely passionate when it comes to studies and shouldering responsibilities. She strongly believes that one should stay extremely resilient during a crisis and constructive to overcome the crisis. She is a brilliant student with strong academics and co-curricular records. She has represented the school in various prop platforms, including essay writing competitions, the Qatar National Debate for Girls 2020-2021, and so on. We wish her every success and wonderful opportunities during her tenure to perform and excel more in the future. Next, we have Aryan Kartikeyan, our sports captain. Motivation is a goal-oriented characteristic that helps a person achieve his objectives. It pushes an individual to work hard at achieving his goals. And Aryan is a superb epitome of this trait. He is evidently one of the most amicable, inspiring, and approachable individuals to both teachers and students alike. With brilliant academic records, Aryan is also a consistent winner of several Olympiad exams. Being a skillful swimmer and an energetic sports person, he is the most apt candidate fitting the title of the DMI sports captain. We wish him a very sportive and successful term ahead. Next, we have Mohammed Naban, sports vice captain. As a leader, one should keep an open perspective on human nature, understand different needs of the team, take right decisions, assuring success as the only outcome. We have Mohammed Naban of grade nine, a charming and inspiring person. He is a name regularly heard in all co-curricular activities and extracurricular activities of the school. He's a well-deserving student to adorn the post of sports vice captain. Good wishes for the future, Naban. Next, we have Anaga Pradi, Cultural Secretary. Art and cultural activities are an integral part of schooling. To visualize and foster a culturally inclusive environment in school requires a mind that is culturally matured and well synchronized with various means of creative expressions and active participation. We have Anaga Pradeep of grade 11 who is an excellent illustration of the DMIS cultural legacy. She is a part of DMIS since her kindergarten days, strong and skillful participant, may it be any event or competition. Her selfless acts in pursuit of excellence and enhancement will definitely add laurels to the school in days to come. We wish Anaga a culturally proactive ambience to contribute more for the well-being of all. Good luck, Anaga. Next, we have the Science Club Secretary, Anya Vats. It is rightly said, the ultimate goal of creative thinking is to expand the frontiers of the world without remaining confined within certain boundaries. And we see these words materialized to our newly appointed Science Club Secretary, Anya Vats, who started her schooling in Daya Myers and is a well-molded student with original opinions and open views. Her inner courage to speak up her views, stand for her ideas, and step in when required makes her a good leader. DMIS wishes her all the very best to shape and color her progressive ideas further. Best wishes, Anya. Next, we have our head boy junior, Chris Linson. 
an incredibly self-disciplined student with exceptional leadership qualities. Fritz Linsen of grade five is a unanimous choice to be the head boy of Junior Wing. Chris is also the youngest participant and winner of Talent Hunt 2021 in English elocution in the inter-school competition organized by Green's, Green Teens KMCC Qatar. With his well-polished behavior, brilliant academic records, and highly appreciated interpersonal skills, including effective communication styles, Chris stands out to be an exemplary leader and role model for juniors to strive upon. Good wishes, dear Chris. Next, we have Laiba Faisal, head girl junior. Leadership is an art of motivating, leading, and developing the team that flows with you. Laiba of grade four is a budding star with true qualities of a great leader. Highly goal-oriented, honest, and hard-working girl with brilliant academics. Laiba is always active and accessible to all for any task. We wholeheartedly appreciate and encourage her to move further with the flagship of commitment. Best wishes to you, Laiba. House Captain Emerald Navia Virmani. Navia is a very positive leader and a versatile student with strong involvement in various co-curricular activities and inter-house competitions in the past years. She has played a vital role in encouraging the school participation in inter-house competitions. Besides being a great dancer, she is also a black belt in karate and also the former house vice captain. Navia takes pride in being a keen, observant, and an unbiased leader who values everyone's opinion and appreciates the worthy. Congrats, Navya. Next, we have the house vice captain for Emerald, Vansh Kumar Chaudhary. Vansh Kumar is a diligent and self-disciplined student with a very positive attitude and right team spirit. His commitment towards student community and initiatives to support the school will be the steady source of motivation to drive the team ahead. Vansh believes in collaborative work as it enhances the final results and ensures that every member does their part well. Congrats, Vansh. House Captain Sapphire, Sean Dominic. Passion with a sense of perfection is an indispensable ingredient for everyone who wants to be successful and contented in what they do. Passionate people have a contagious energy that can greatly drive the team to scale greater heights. Sean of grade 11 is one such budding star who has the caliber to lead the house with a difference. Sean is a winner of the National Robotics Olympiad, regular participant of MUN conferences, and highly dependable student to assign any task, any time. We take pride in him and wish him all success to move ahead with the right passion and vision. Congrats, Sean. Next, we have the house vice captain for Sapphire, Telista Singh. Telista Singh, a good-natured and well-disciplined, cheerful student who participates actively in all school activities. She exhibits an unparalleled affinity towards academics, music, sports, and other extracurricular activities alike. She is well-liked by fellow students for her enthusiasm in serving others. She is one of the strongest members of the school basketball and handball team. She is a student who has assimilated so deeply the school culture and customs that, that her innate passion and unrelenting desire will permeate strong vibes of inspiration and excitement to the whole team. We wish her all the very best to lead the team. Congrats, Kalista. Next, we have the house captain for Tapaz, Nikhil Binu. Leadership and learning are indispensable to each other, and the best leaders are inquisitive and yet confident in their abilities. They are endlessly curious individuals who never stop questioning, never stop learning. We see a very inquisitive and brilliant captain in Nikhil Bino of grade 11. To borrow the words of Nikhil, a leader is not born, but made. Yes, made out of one's diligence, self-discipline, and commitment to self-oriented goal. Nikhil is a well-acclaimed delegate of MUN Impact, MENA Region 2020-2021.
He is a regular and effective participant of the MUN conferences. He has showcased brilliant performances in various cultural inter-house competitions and events. We wish Nikhil all the very best to lead the house to glory. House Vice Captain, Topaz Keith Lobo. The best leaders are also the boldest thinkers. They are the most insatiable learners with great vision. Keith from grade nine is one such positive leader with original ideas and actions that can influence thoughts and behavior of others effectively. His strong passion for singing and in-depth cultural inclination will definitely play a vital role in leading the team to reach greater heights and glory. We wish Keith good wishes and best of luck to take the team forward with positive vibes and cultural grandeur. Congrats, Keith. Next, we have the house captain for Ruby, Lakshashri. Leadership is about developing people and helping others to reach their full potential. It is about equipping others with the right tools and strategies, not only to maximize the success, but also to make the team self-reliant. Lakshashri of grade 11 is one such upcoming self-motivated leader who is the right choice to be the house captain of Ruby. Laksha has always shown optimism towards school events and has displayed unquestionable caliber in all possible platforms. Besides having an excellent academic background, she's a strong contender in debates and sports as well. Lots of good wishes to Lakshashri to lead the house successfully. Congrats. Next, we have the house vice captain for Ruby, Nikita Mariam. As a leader, you have the incredible opportunity to change someone's life every day. And we have Nikita Mariam of grade 11, who has the right caliber to blaze a lamp of success and lead the team to triumph. Nikita is a member of the school badminton and handball team. She is also an enthusiastic participant of many youth entrepreneurship conferences. We wish Nikita all the very best to take forward the house to the ladder of victory. Congrats, Nikita. Next, we have the discipline in charge, Ahana Murlidhar. A leader needs to have a clear vision, enterprising initiative, right temperament to take the team forward, even in rough times, to bring out the best from them. Ahana from grade 11 is a very polite, cheerful, and pleasant student who is always cooperative and willing to learn and work for the betterment of others. Ahana's strong sense of responsibility and desire to strive hard and do the best will be a great asset for the school. Here we love to quote Ahana's own words that rightly expresses what she is. If chosen as a leader, my members' happiness is the beginning of mine. Good wishes and wonderful opportunities to you, Ahana, to succeed and surpass. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I now invite year head middle school, Ms. Rama Shashidharan to continue the announcement. Thank you, Ms. Veena. Greetings to all. Let me continue with house captains middle school. House captain from Emerald House, Hasna Muhammad Mubarak of grade six. Hasna Muhammad Mubarak of grade six is a very disciplined and self-motivated student with a very positive attitude and passion to excel. Her industrious nature and eagerness to learn will be the added advantage to active house participation. We wish Hasna a great success ahead and make best use of this opportunity to serve the house. All the best, Hasna. Next, House Captain Ruby, Rumeza Mariam Aslam of grade eight. Let me borrow the words of Rumeza Mariam herself. She says, to be a member of DMI student council body is a part of schooling adventure. We appreciate and enrose your words. Rumeza strongly believes that as a student, the best moments in each day will be when a fellow student, senior or junior, smiles at you and say, 
you inspire me. These words of Romeza manifest the power and passion she upholds to lead her house with right spirit and fellowship. We wish Romeza good luck. May all her dreams come true. House Captain Sapphire, Vanya Viramani of Grade 8. Vanya is a very positive and vibrant leader who believes that one's ideas and actions directly influence thought and behavior and enhance let the thoughts be pragmatic and actions be worthy. She holds that honesty, trustworthy, efficiency are the most important traits one should possess and be responsible for every action of yours. Dear Mai's wish, Vanya, all the very best and success to lead the team. House Captain Topaz, Shruti Lakshmi of Grade 8. There's a plethora of qualities that one needs to become a great leader. Amidst that, one of the most important traits that all leaders must possess is a passion to develop and maximize the potential of others. Shruti, an exemplary student with impeccable academic records and competitive exams, strongly aspires to be in the student council to reach out to fellow students and render the possible service, particularly to her much adored house. We wish and appreciate Shruti's desire to support and be a source of motivation to all. Thank you. Over to Ms. Veena. Thank you, ma'am. I now invite Earhead Primary, Ms. Lata, to announce the names of the leaders. Thank you, Ms. Veena. A pleasant afternoon to one and all present here. House Captain Junior, House Captain of Emerald House, Abdul Basit Mohammed of Grade 5E. Abdul is a very active, responsible, and potential student who can be assigned various tasks with confidence. His agility and sincerity to complete the assigned duties have always kept him popular amidst students and staff. His new role as house captain junior will definitely boost his confidence and decide to do more and gain more. Good wishes, Abdul Basit. House Captain of Ruby, Shivika Siva Subramaniam of Grade 5C. Dedication, commitment, and determination are the key factors in Shivika that drives her to aspire for more. She is a student who knows well to balance studies and extracurricular activities successfully. Shivika is a polite, cheerful, and pleasant student who knows to cooperate well with the teachers and students alike. We wish her more success and opportunities to excel in future. Good luck, Shivika. House Captain Safai. Hansa Mohammed of Grade 4B. A very proactive and well-disciplined student with strong sense of responsibility makes Hansa a true leader for his house Safai. Hansa has always displayed a very optimistic attitude and timely support when situation demands. He can definitely support the team and motivate them to contribute towards more success. We wish Hansa good luck and best wishes to lead the house. House Captain Topaz, Kenesha Hegde of Grade 5B. A leader needs to have patience, self-confidence, dignity, self-respect, and respect to others. Kenesha Hegde, the junior house captain, Topaz House has all in the right combination of these qualities. She strongly believes that everyone should possess good thoughts in mind, express thoughts through good words, and show goodness in all deeds or actions which would benefit many. 
that is the spirit of true leadership which dmis sees in her we wish kanisha hegde all the very best to move successfully many more milestones of victory good luck kanisha thank you and once again i congratulate all the newly elected student council members over to ms veena thank you ma'am moving on to the swearing in ceremony i request ms ursula sabu thomas assistant principal of dmis to administer the oath to the new student council members of 2021-22 over to you ma'am thank you ms veena now i request our head boy kevin george to kindly rise and take the oath taking position and rest of the team can also be ready first i will be administering oath to kevin and in turn kevin will administer the oath to the team we the student council members of dmis we the student council members of dmis promise to strive to the best of our ability promise to strive to the best of our ability to live up to the vision and mission of our school to live up to the vision and mission of our school by fulfilling faithfully our duties by fulfilling faithfully our duties entrusted to us by the school authorities entrusted to us by the school authorities we will respect the rules and regulations of the school we will respect the rules and regulations of the school in the true spirit in the true spirit for the glory and honor of the school for the glory and honor of the school we also pledge to do the best of our ability we also pledge to do the best of our ability to preserve protect and defend to preserve protect and defend the honor of our school the honor of our school we as a team we as a team promise to serve our fellow students promise to serve our fellow students and school sincerely and school sincerely also actively take part in all school activities also actively take part in all school activities and endeavor to bring laurels and glory to it consistently and endeavor to bring laurels and glory to it consistently we vow that we will do our best we vow that we will do our best to maintain discipline among students to maintain discipline among students and carry out all the duties entrusted upon us and carry out all the duties entrusted upon us throughout our academic career throughout our academic career now kevin will administer to the team we the student council members of dmis we, we the student, student council, council members, of members, of members, of members, of members of dmis Promise to strive to the best of our ability. Promise to strive to strive the best of our ability. To live up to the vision and mission of our school. To live up to the vision and mission of our school. By fulfilling faithfully our duties. By fulfilling faithfully our duties. Entrusted to us by the school authorities. Entrusted to us by the school authorities. We will respect the rules and regulations of the school. Respect, 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 We are, we are a team. We are a team. We are a team. Promise to serve our fellow students. Promise to serve, to serve our fellow students. And school sincerely. And school sincerely. Also actively take part in school activities. Also actively take part in school activities. And endeavor to bring laurels and glory to it consistently. And then the world is and the world is glorious and constantly. We vow that we will do our best. 
We will do our best. Our best. Our best. Maintain discipline among students. Maintain discipline, discipline among students. 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 And carry out all the duties entrusted upon us. Carry out, carry out all, all the duties, duties entrusted upon us. us. Throughout our academic career. Throughout our academic career. Let us give a huge round of applause to cheer the newly sworn in student council of DMIS 2021-22. Dear leaders, remember that a leader stands as an example of commitment, dedication, a person of responsibility, respect to elders, and an exemplary person who leads the team. Congratulations, dear leaders. Well, the student leaders have been inducted and now they are ready to tread on the road of responsibilities and duties towards the school. It's time to enjoy some wonderful music prepared by our teacher. I would now like to invite Ms. Renu to enthuse us with their melodious song to inspire and motivate us all. Good evening, teachers. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am.
Miss Renu for taking us to the mesmerizing world of music. Appreciation is the highest form of prayer, for it acknowledges the presence of good. Now proudly, I invite Vaishak Menon, the outgoing head boy, who along with his team has done a commendable job during the tenure to inspire the new student council team. Thank you, ma'am. Honorable Director of Schools, Mr. Jay Shankar Pillai, Respected Education Consultant at the Talib Group of Schools, Mr. David Throp, Principal, Ms. Padmini Venkatesh, Assistant Principal, Ms. Usla Sabu, Academic Coordinator, Year Heads, Teachers, Parents, and last but not the least, the new members of the Student Council. Good afternoon. I am Vaishak Manoj Manon, and it is my pleasure to win of leadership. He was really an unpredictable one. Nobody knew what could happen. Today, too, we face a similar situation. But I'm proud to say that the Student Council Batch 2020 to 2021 did not give up in difficult circumstances. Instead, we pushed through any obstacle that came our way. A very important saying that would help us in uh, such times is that if there is a will, there is a way. If we want change to happen, if we want to get something done, then we must always remember that there is a way to achieve our goal. I'm really proud to have been a part of a council which used the resources in the most efficient manner and initiated many ideas and events. I thank the DMI's management for the generous amount of support that we received. I urge you all to have faith in yourselves, to believe in yourselves, because that is very important to accomplish anything. I'm sure the new student council, supported by the wonderful school management, will accomplish great things. Thank you and best wishes to the new student council members for their future endeavors. Thank you, Vaishak. I would now like to invite Hafiz Muhammad, former cultural secretary, to speak a few words to the newly inducted leaders. Good morning, everyone. I'm Hafiz. Like Vaishak said, last year was very unpredictable. The investiture ceremony for our badge took place after the summer break. That is on 28th of September, 2020. Then after that, we became busy, busy with our half yearly exams. And finally, we came back to the school in November with blended learning. <clears throat> Things kept changing. Despite getting only five months, we could spearhead a lot of initiatives like Skilo Panorama, Power of One Charity Drive, and Career Awareness Program. Most of our discussions and planning took place virtually. Within this short span of time, we could do all these things just because of the teamwork and enthusiasm shown by our fellow members. And also, we thank the school management for the opportunities given and the support given to us. We, the outgoing badge, wish you all the very best for your upcoming ventures. And we are sure that you guys will perform very well. Thank you and have a nice day, everyone. Thank you, Hafiz. We wish you all success in your future endeavors. Once again, sincere thanks to all the members of the outgoing student council body 2020-21. May I now invite the newly sworn in head boy, Kevin George, to deliver his debut address. Winston Churchill's words ring true even today. All great things are simple. Many can be expressed in single words, justice, honor, duty, mercy, and hope. These simple yet noble values lay the road on the journey of service and leadership. Respected representatives of management, director of schools, Mr. Jay Shankar Pillay, educational consultant, Mr. David Throp, academic orator, Mr. Sabu Thomas, principals of the sister schools, principal of DMIS, Mrs. Patmani Venkatesh, Assistant Principal, Academic Coordinator, Year Heads, Heads, Teachers, Parents, and my fellow students. A very good afternoon to you all. Today, as the Student Council of 2021-22, we stand at the first step of this journey. And indeed, we have big shoes to fill. Firstly, to the ones who have aided us the most in reaching the starting point, our beloved teachers, our guides, and our mentors. We will be ready for whatever contentions may rise during our term. Under the looming shadow of COVID, 
we promise that we will not cower. We will be the bridge you require us to be with the students, an active participant and a constant support, worthy of the role that you have entrusted us with. To our friends and fellow students, we promise to serve and to lead. We are willing and ready to go the extra mile during this pandemic to assist you in any of your needs. It is said that necessity is a mother of invention and truly these unique circumstances necessitate creative and innovative solutions for us to preserve normalcy and have a holistic education. This council will work fervently to assist our faculty in the DMI's motto that compromising is never an option, not in studies or in fun. And finally, to the institution that has shaped us to be the people we are today, that has provided us with our educators, our values, and our lifelong memories. It is time to give back. It is time to embark on this journey so that future councils will have one more example to look back on as inspiration. We hope to be worthy of the school's many laurels and the standards that it has set as the center of learning. But more importantly, the lesson it has nurtured of love, kindness, and compassion. Yet the quote by Andy Andrews summarizes this best. Intention without action is an insult to those who expect the best from you. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for our actions, our promises, and our journey to begin. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin, and wish you and your team all the very best. Gratitude can make a day, even change a life. Your willingness to put it into words is all that is necessary. I now invite the head girl, Hanshika P. Anand Kumar, to propose the vote of thanks. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more and become more, you are a leader. As head girl of DMIS, it is my proud privilege to deliver the vote of thanks and to put my gratitude into words on behalf of the Student Council Batch 2021-22 and the whole DMIS fraternity on this significant day. My sincere thanks to the school management for holding this investiture ceremony virtually despite the pandemic to kindle the spirits of our students to showcase their leadership qualities in these difficult times. I would like to thank our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Jayshankar Pillai, director of Talib Schools, for taking his precious time to grace this occasion. Thank you, sir. I express my gratitude to our educational consultant, Mr. David Throck, for being present here. I would also like to thank our academic auditor, Mr. Sabu Thomas, for his strong support and guidance. I thank the principals of our sister schools for being here to bless us today. Behind every successful program lies the manifold efforts of our principal, Ms. Padmini, who continues to inspire us to come up with zeal and dedication. I give a big thank you to our assistant principal, academic coordinator, all the department heads and loving teachers. Without your care and concern and your constant endeavors to bring out the best in us, none of this would be possible. Finally, it is important that we acknowledge the unconditional love and support given to us by our parents and friends. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there's no path and leave a trail. Thank you. Thank you, Hanshika. May God's choicest blessings be showered upon all these young leaders to discharge their duties diligently. Dear leaders, Wherever you are, carry the legacy of DMIS, commitment in spirit, creative in thoughts, and caring in action. Here we wind up this indelible investiture ceremony 2021-22. May I humbly request everyone to kindly rise for the Qatar National Anthem, followed by the Indian National Anthem. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
शुभ नाम जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 Thank you, one and all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, students. Thank you, Thank you parents. Thank you, Congratulations. You, All the best. Stay safe. Stay at yes, home. Take care of your health. Thank Get you, council members to remain for the group photo. Yes. And the teachers also. The teachers and students to kindly stay back. Others can leave. Thank you for your presence. Mr. Yes, Shiju, you also can turn on your camera, please. Vaishak, Veena. Okay, Vaishak left, I believe. Veena, please put on your you. camera. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, good. Yes. Ma'am, I think if this stand, it is good. The sash is seen clearly. Okay, let's look at the tangle. Yeah. We can be seated, they can stand. But oh, just okay. adjust their camera. <laughs> okay, okay. I understand. Students, adjust, Students the adjust your cameras. Be, uh, if you stand, it looks good. Like how Kevin was standing, it was good. Kevin, you were okay. You, you did not have adjusted the camera. Yes, Kevin, Hanchika. Yeah, that's fine. Navya, little forward. Navya, little forward. Yes, yes. I'm that like Evangeline. Sasha is opposite. Sasha side. on the opposite side, Evangeline. Change the on shoulder. your right shoulder. Put in the right shoulder, Evangeline. Put in the right shoulder. Yes. Not um, that way. Not that the way. The other way. Other way. The thing should come up, come front. Yeah. Just uh, remove that. Uh, yes. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Good. Yes. Abdul. Yeah. In front of the camera. Fine. Yeah, it's good. 